welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and this video is less of a tutorial video and more of an exciting announcement video. Not too long ago we announced that we completely overhauled our free payment collection solution that comes built into event tickets called Tribe Commerce. We even rebranded it to Tickets Commerce. While Tickets Commerce was a drastic improvement over Tribe Commerce, it did share one specific limitation with the old platform, which was that PayPal was the only payment collection option. Today, I'm excited to inform you that we've added Stripe integration to Tickets Commerce. That's right, you now have the option to use PayPal and or Stripe to collect payments while using our free event tickets plugin. Stripe has a couple benefits. First of all, some people just prefer Stripe over PayPal, and in the past, they would have to settle for using PayPal anyways because that was the only option. Also, Stripe offers some payment options for our international customers, such as Afterpay, Clearpay, Alipay, JiroPay, and Klama. And if you upgrade to Event Tickets Plus, there are about three times as many payment options, including Google Pay and Apple Pay. We also waive the 2% commission fee for our customers with a valid Event Tickets Plus license. For more information about the difference between Event Tickets and Event Tickets Plus, we do have a blog post, and there will be a link to that in the description. The other good news is that Stripe is super easy to set up. Let's take a look at just how easy that is. All right, so to get started, you will, of course, need to install event tickets onto your website. You can get that from our website, theeventscalendar.com, or simply search for it in the plugin section of your WordPress dashboard. Once it is installed, all we need to do is head over to events and settings. And we'll go to the payments tab. You will need to make sure that tickets commerce is enabled. And then you'll see we have the option of setting up Stripe or PayPal. Let's go ahead and get started with Stripe. All right, so first we'll click the blue button here. And then I'm going to type in the email address that is associated with my Stripe account. Simply log into your Stripe account and our plugin will handle the connection for you. I do have a couple different Stripe accounts, so I'm just going to choose the one that I want to connect. And that's it. I don't have to mess with any API keys or anything like that. Simply log into my account and the plugin handles everything. Once we're done, make sure we enable Stripe and then click save at the very bottom here. And that's all there is to it. Now we can start creating events and adding tickets and making some money. So I hope you enjoyed this announcement. We're really excited about it. I hope you're excited about it too. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.